Welcome back, it's 2023, and we are about to start season two of The Quest. I'm out here on a local lake, uh, practicing for one of the first tournaments of the year, uh, which starts this weekend. And I'll have to fill you guys in a little bit more as we go, but this year is looking a little bit different. Um, I signed up for the Opens again, still just one one division but I got put on the waiting list so tentatively I am fishing the opens in the division two but I'm number two on the waiting list so time will tell I'm not sure it I would assume that I'll probably get in into them um, the only one that I'm really concerned about is the first stop which is on uh, Toledo Bend in Louisiana and yeah, that's that's a uh, tournament two for the EQ series. I'm a little bit nervous about getting in on that one, just because it is tournament two, and not a lot of guys are going to drop out in the second tournament of the year. But time will tell. For now, I'm just going to uh, fish locally, fish as many tournaments as possible. I am. Uh, I'm going to fish BFLs, ABAs, uh, club stuff, just anything I can get in, just to continue to continue to grow and hopefully uh, we do well here locally and we can um, take that momentum into the open season so I'm going to start practice now and I'll keep you guys with me throughout the, the day and the year thanks for following I really appreciate all the subscribes all the comments it's been it's been a really good experience I've definitely been dragging on creating video content um, but I'm ready to get after it. I'm excited to bring you guys along and thank you for following. My gospel screams of justice, my world stuck on the ground to plan my seeds right in the evil ground I found. So I stand fast and ready when the wolf knocks at the door. That's four even. That's the kind we need. That wins tournaments right there. Day two uh, for Center Hill ABA. Just caught one on a little Kitek. Suspended over bait. I'm, I'm running back in pockets because it's a little warmer. I think there's water coming in the creek. A little bit warmer and there's a stack full of bait. So those are the fish we need. They say 
get some, keep your nose clean. But I can't help but smell the stench of all those evil rising up from hell. My heart beats like Virginia. Don't spin myself in two. One side made for forgiveness, all the pays the If I can get one more back here, then we're in. Update for uh, my last day of practice tournament tomorrow. It's two o'clock and I had a pretty decent day. Uh, fish here are feeding heavily on Chad, and all of these all of these drains and pockets are the ones you can find that are warmer, like 53 to 55 degrees. I haven't found any. stacked full of shad. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking for that warmer water and uh, throwing a tamiki at them. I've caught like a five pounder today. I wasn't running my camera because it's raining but I caught a five pounder on a spy bait and that's the first fish I've ever caught on a spy bait. Uh, and then a small high tech swim bait. I think that's what I'm going to for the tournament and then if I need to I'll start running like points and stuff fishing a jerk bait but it seems pretty consistent that fit, the fish are around all that bait uh, if you can find the right pocket. Every pocket's full of bait which is some of them have fish and some of them I just can't I don't know if they're not in there or I just can't catch them. It seems better when when the bait is out a little bit deeper and it's in small pods as opposed to like Three or four hours left of practice. And hopefully, we can find something special. But as of right now, I'll be running back to the creeks and doing that. Alrighty, well, first uh, first ABA of the year on Center Hill starts now, and uh, we're gonna go catch catch five and hopefully I think it's gonna take 20 pounds to win today so um, we got we got our work cut out for us because I have not had a day like that yet but there's big fish to be caught and uh, I kind of like luck into one or two every day so hopefully we can figure something out today and get somewhere between 15 and 20 that's the goal so thank you guys for following along and watching and uh, I'll try to do my best to film it all day, as usual. You're making your appearance on the, on the channel. We're gonna smash them today. Somebody will. What do you I, think it's gonna take? I think pounds? it'll take 20. 20, I think so. I'll be able to come in with a solid seven and a half. Yeah. With five fish. I'll be happy with spots. five. All spot, I, I like Seven it. and a half pounds of all spots. Give uh, me some points. And Get us over to the 
Bass Factory that we call Percy Priest. <laughs> yeah. All right, good luck, man. Good luck to you. Be safe. camera away so we don't ruin it uh, I don't have it's not waterproof so put it back on when it's uh stops raining could come out this way a bit Look at that successful net. Oh, that's the best one. <laughs> and then you chop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> whoa, 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 gonna do it. Come up. Trick bait kind of day. Oh, a dirt bait kind of day. Now I need them to change sides of the boat. <laughs> Number four. I missed it, but I caught a spot. Two smallmouth and a large mouth, so.
That does it, guys. Whack him. Did okay. Did okay. It was a fun day. Uh, I had to shut the camera off halfway through the day because it was pouring on us and I didn't want to ruin my GoPro. But yeah, it was a really fun day. Caught all of them on a jerk bait, I think. And uh, man, we must have caught 30, 25, 30 fish all in jerk bait. So my shoulders are sore. I'm gonna load up the boat here and then weigh in. That's going to do it for this tournament. Um, it was a fun day. We, uh, we got poured on most of the day, so I had to shut the camera off and put the GoPro away. So unfortunately, we didn't get all the fish catches, but um, had a really fun day. Caught 15, 15, but I knew that they bit so good that everyone was going to smash them. And I think 20 pounds won, which I, that's what I figured would win. Um, only had 15 pound 15.15 um, so not quite enough but it was a good day it was good to be able to practice for a tournament like this where sometimes I, when I fish these tournaments at home I don't really have the time to practice but it just worked out that I could so every day got a little bit better from from the first day of practice to the tournament and that's all you can ask for learning and growing and on to the next one Thanks you, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do more of these. I'm a little bit hesitant to do tournaments at home and film film them because I fish these lakes so often. I'm not trying to give up too much, but in a situation like today, it really doesn't matter. It's a situational deal, and this lake everything looks the same, so there's no telling where I'm at for spots or anything like that. So. That wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.